Hello everyone and welcome to the part 4 of what kind of questions can come in CBIT phase 2. The level of questions discussed in this video are difficult and the topic that I am going to take in this video is debugging in OOPS concept. So earlier we had made uh, 3 videos live on the YouTube and uh, you can watch those videos. The questions level were not difficult but in this particular video the question levels are going to be difficult. That's why I am giving you the answers also. Earlier uh, I didn't give you any answers for the questions which I asked in the video but for this one i am giving you the answers as well so without wasting any time let's jump into the topic of the day that is debugging in the oops concept so here you can see i have taken a python code and this is the code which you are uh, getting on your screen right now once you will run this code on the right hand side of the slide you have the uh, running output as well so the problem here is like when you will run this code you will observe this particular output so you don't have to do anything you don't have to be the compiler and to assume what will be run so here the question is there with the code and the output is also there now we want to change the output there is some problem in the code and you guys will be asked question for that because it is a debugging topic so you will be asked question to debug the particular code and how to fix the problem okay so this is the story you have this code on the left hand side you have the output on the right hand side and the problem is that whenever you are using the error logger function it is not giving you the correct output and that we will discuss in the questions so first of all your task is to identify these three points identify the oops concept which oops concept is getting implemented here which oops concept is demonstrated here and what exactly is the working and what misunderstanding this application has developed now you have to explain the bug where the problem is lying you have to clearly describe the error logger log message method which does not include the error prefix from itself that is the self dot prefix attribute in its output so once you will see the code properly you need to pause the video you need to see that code very specifically and this is the problem which is explained in the bug area which is the point number two and after that you have to propose a fix so this is how actually debugging works so you can be asked questions either on the identifying the concept which is being implemented or identifying the bug or proposing a fix for the bug now let's see what sort of questions can come so first type of uh, question can be like in the provided python code the error logger class inherit from logger and redefines the log message method okay so the concept itself here is the inheritance okay and the polymorphism also so which oops concept is primarily demonstrated by this interaction so you have four pillars of the oops and this particular question is asking which is implemented in this particular code so the correct answer here is the polymorphism which is specifically for the method overriding so under polymorphism also we have two sort of things method overloading and method overriding in this particular case it is method overriding now what i want you guys to do because it is a video i cannot give you time to solve the problem in the video you have to pause the video and understand the code first you can also download the pdf of this question from the download section and what you need to do you need to first understand the code properly understand the task which was shown in the last slide and then you attempt these questions okay now the second question why did the method fail to include the error prefix from the self dot prefix in its output even though the error logger initialization set itself prefix was set to error so what was the problem so the problem is stated in option number b and the explanation is also given so this is how you can be asked the question that what was the problem and how to fix that problem right so these sort of questions can come which checks your conceptual understanding of the oops concept so because in oops concept we might think what sort of questions can be asked how the class objects polymorphism encapsulation inheritance abstraction can be done in coding way to make sure you can ask questions related to debugging to the code flow and other stuff so these are some of the ways how you can be cornered in sebi this is actually a very difficult question so don't underestimate yourself if you are not able to solve this question we are just checking that how many different types of question how difficult questions can come and this is one of the question this is not so difficult but if you understand the concepts of the object oriented programming language now the next question to correctly fix the issue what is in the bug of this particular question what needs to be done 
what part of the code needs to be replaced with which of these are following so you have four options here a b c d and out of these option one will be correctly fitting the particular code it will be fixing the code and that particular option is option number b and the correct explanation is also given so it is actually doing method overwriting which is not done perfectly and what should be changed here to show the particular method showing its correct output that is the case so in the b you can see there is a super calling function so you know there is a function called as this you know there is a function called a super and that relates to the polymorphism and inheritance so just that logic is there and if you read the explanation properly you will be able to understand the entire uh, uh, crux of the question now the last question for this particular video is related to a concept like if you are debugging what is the style of debugging you should be approaching for so when you are debugging the issue related to method overriding and inheritance in object oriented programming what is a common first step to understand the flow of the execution and out of these four what you will be choosing and you have to choose something which is optimal in nature and that is adding the print statement and checking whether everything is following as per the flow or not because you have to check the method overriding and inheritance whether they are doing the things perfectly or not so you can use the print statement everywhere wherever you want to check the output of a particular step right so this is one of the example which is actually difficult and can help you to understand what sort of questions we can ask now what you guys need to do you cannot fall back to my speed what i have followed in this video you guys have to pause the video understand the question then solve the following questions and you have the answers also in front of you so please be honest to yourself don't see the answer first time and try to attempt the question and even if you've seen the answer just make sure even uh, in that scenario you're able to understand it or not okay so this is for you because it is difficult question that's why i've given you the answers now if you like this video do hit the like button and if you haven't shared this video you can share it with your peers so that they will also get to know some sort of understanding that what kind of questions can come in sebi it again this is one of the initiative that we are taking for each one of you out there and if you want this initiative to continue you have to share your response to this particular video series otherwise we might feel that it is not getting a good response and we might stop it so if you want to continue this uh, particular approach for your preparation because if we say if even i am giving you three questions in a particular week for example before your uh, phase two examination you will have n number of questions you will have a good amount of area you will have a good amount of expertise in different sort of things right so that is our agenda to help you guys with the maximum number of questions and to make you understand how easy it can be and how difficult it can be so we are trying to cover the entire spectrum and if you want us to continue do share your love on the videos and till the time i'm keeping this particular video series till the time i'm bringing the next video keep practicing and stay updated